On this episode, we're talking budget tequilas. This is episode one of new budget tequila options right here on the Tequila Hombre, coming up next. Hello and welcome to our first episode in a brand new series that we're just now launching called Budget Tequila Options, where we'll discuss different tequila brands that can help you save some money while enjoying really good sipping and mixing tequilas. This will be the first of a, many different episodes to be launched here on the channel. If you're new to the channel and don't want to miss them, make sure you click the subscribe button right there and the notification bell next to it. So you get notified not only when we post videos of the new budget option videos, but as well as some of the other reviews and informational videos that we post constantly here on the Tequila Ombre channel. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get into our first budget option. Our first budget option I'd like to let you know about today is comes from Casa San Matias. It is one of my favorite extra Ñejo budget options for those of you that like Ñejos and extra Ñejos. And for those of you that enjoy Clase Azul or uh, Don Julio 1942, this is a great option at a fraction of the cost. This is the San Matias Gran Reserva Extra Ñejo. Comes in a black bottle like so. Typically runs for between $45 to $55. It's a fantastic extra nail with a really great flavor profile. So we're going to go ahead and pour a little bit and tell you about this right now. Now, the San Matias uh, Grand Reserva Extra Nejo was actually the first extra Nejo to ever hit the market. San Matias was the first to make an extra Nejo. This is aged 36 months in French oak barrels, brand new French oak barrels that are custom made for this particular extra Nejo. Now, the reason why they keep this really short is uh, really uh, inexpensive is because um, San Matias vowed when they first came out this that they were going to do a affordable extra Nejo and keep it affordable no matter what. So they use their own agave that they grow on the estate for this particular brand to keep costs down and still produce uh, it today for a cost between $45 to $60 a bottle, you can get this in regular 40% uh, alcohol by volume. And they also do a 45% 90 proof uh, version that's single barrel that you can purchase at some retailers. Uh, the Tequila Barrel and Agave Collective will have two barrels coming in soon. Um, so let's take a look at this tequila in the glass. It coats the glass beautifully. Look at the legs and tears on that. Absolutely amazing. This is pure French oak goodness. So we're going to Enjoy nosing this, but look at that. So it's going to have a nice viscous mouthfeel to it. Um, on the nose. Mm, beautiful cooked agave coming through. Now, one of the things Rocio, who's the blender for Casa San Matias, as well as now the master distiller, um, she does a great job of ensuring that the agave comes through on the front of it. She's like really well known for doing that. And if you've tried some of the other uh, and yehos and aged expressions that come out of Casa San Matias, you'll notice that it's pretty consistent across all of their lines. This one, it is still very agave forward. You get that beautiful cinnamon and baking spices. It's uh, more floral on the nose. You get vanilla and caramel and uh, like almost like a sweet cherry in there as well, as well as um, butterscotch. It smells fantastic. This is a treat. I always love this uh, as an affordable extra Nejo option. So let's see what we get on the flavor profile. Coats them out beautifully. Nice French oak presence. Get that cinnamon and baking spices up front from the cooked agave notes. Then you get this wonderful vanilla and caramel notes that come through. Butterscotch in there with the, a nice presence of the actual wood note as well. The French oak wood. It's there. Casa San Matias does not use additives, so you never have to worry about additives in this as well. It is completely verified, ombre verified, additive free. So you can definitely enjoy this and not have to worry about additives like some of the other brands you may partake in. 
So there you go. If you're looking for an extremely affordable extra Nijo to enjoy after dinner or as an aperitif, I highly recommend the San Matias Gran Reserva Extra Nijo. Also great for recommending to people that are looking for something different from Class Azul or Don Julio 1942 that don't want to spend that ridiculous amount of money that they charge for those junk tequilas. All right, so that's our first budget brand, an extra Nijo from San Matias. It's San Matias Gran Reserva. And like I always say, life is too short to drink bad tequila. So, hey, pick up some San Matias Gran Reserva Extra Nijo and you'll be in great shape for a lot less money. Salud.